What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, bringing you the ninth episode of Object Oriented Programming. Yes, so yeah, we are still surviving this uh, series. So, this is the ninth episode, and we have discussed most of the key uh, concept of object oriented programming. And what I want to discuss next is, I mean, we talked about inheritance, right? And that's like the key important thing about object-oriented programming. So we know classes, we know objects, we know inheritance, we know properties, methods, uh, what else? All these things are the key stuff. The rest, you know, is just flavors, really. And uh, just spices that you add to, you know, enhance your experience while coding using object-oriented programs. So, so uh, you can you can use any language. I'm using in this case VB.net, but the concept the, this series teaches you the concept of object-oriented programming, not the actual concrete implementation of a programming language get it I hope you get the idea so after this you can program on the web or program on the desktop or really any programming language you know so even mobile development <coughs> works the same way so it's just the way you architect and design your software to be <coughs> to be really reusable you know so all right, so let's uh, let's see where we ate. Pizza bit. Oh, so last time uh, we introduced the concept of inheritance and we created one example called margarita pizza, so like the out of a box pizzas that has stuff in them, you know. Like uh, these kind of portions, this much stuff in them, and this type of crust. So, so all these things, right? So I'm debating what to discuss this episode. And <clears throat> so from this point on, we'll be doing a lot. So, so you, you are in, you reached an intermediate stage of this. So most of the things that you're gonna see is kind of repetitive no new concept no new I mean programming language keywords or whatever I mean you might I might I might throw things a thing or two as I need it of course are we recording yes so I might throw a thing or two as I need it you see for example I didn't I didn't even mention loops because I didn't need to loop through stuff yet, right? So that's the way I I usually discuss things. And when I need something, I'm gonna introduce it. When I don't, basically, we don't need it, right? That's the concept. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> so there's something bugging me with this currently. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff bugging me with the current implementation that we have here, and. Uh, this is the thing that is buzzing, the crust type. All right, I think this is what we're going to discuss now. So now, with the crust type, when you create a new pizza, you have these three. No, sorry. This is, yeah, these are the three crust, two crust type, right? So thin and thick. And how did we, how did you implement this? This is a bunch of strings, really. You know, when you edit that, so it's thin and thick, and we're doing, you know, some if statements down the line here, I guess. Yeah, when we calculate the price of a pizza, we basically uh, say if it's thick, then do that. If it's thin or else, just do that, and I hate that, you know. I want to get rid of this if statement and make this really extensible, you know. So how do we do that? Basically, I don't know if you guessed it, but we're going to convert this into a class, a cross type 
will be now a class by itself. And yes, I have a perfect name for this episode. Wow. This is going to be the strategy design pattern. So we're going to discuss our first design pattern in this episode. All right. So so let's let, let's start with the, the definition of a design pattern. So a design p pattern is basically a pattern. What is pattern? Pattern is something that you do over and over again, and it, there are some common things that you find out while doing it. You know, and you just and you and you extract a pattern out of it. So these guys, there are some guys that have more than 30 years experience in object-oriented programming and they were doing a lot of projects and then they I don't know why I do do that so they came up with patterns that 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 they, they saw uh, emerge in their designs all right so and they call them design patterns and people have been using them and what more uh, there are a lot of patterns you know one of them is the strategy strategy design pattern and factory design pattern and there's a lot model view design pattern each one is nothing but it's nothing but an ordering and organizing your structure of classes so that it, it simplifies your work, you know. So this is what we we're going to discuss today, the strategy design pattern. And the way, uh, and, and there's another thing. So you might have heard about strategy design pattern or design patterns in general. This is the key thing. You do not have to force a design pattern in your code. It just emerges in your code. It's, you say, hey. Oh, this is a perfect thing. This is a strategy design pattern. And there is a great book, by the way. I, I really, guys, recommend you to get it. It's called Head First Design Patterns. And, and this is like the best book I ever read, you know, in, in, in this thing. And, 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 and it really inspired me to write this book, you know, there I, to start this uh, uh, series, you know. So this is a very fun reading uh, this is a very fun book to read and just read it go ahead and read now you'll be ready to read this book actually because you know the concept is just the way you organize your stuff to clean up the clatter like we have a clatter here right so this is a clatter this is an F statement that is really ugly in so many ways like one of those like there is an F statement first of all all right, you don't if 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 you need to add a new type, you have to check that, right? And add a you have to maintain it here, right? You have to add an if statement here. It's an if let's say I'm gonna add a new crust type called whatever cheese crust type. So gonna add cheese crust type, you have to add a string and check that. It, it's just ugly, right? So if it's then you have to have your own price for that. It's just so ugly. So this design pattern has been emerging emerging in so many software and if you know it you're gonna apply it that's the only thing I can tell you there's no way you know to like there's no like quick way to learn how to apply a design pattern in your code it just so happened that emerges in your code say oh this is a design pattern oh this is a factory pattern those are and you start applying it, like in this case. I didn't know today I'll be I'll be doing a, de a design factory or strategy design pattern. In this case, I didn't explain it to you yet. But this is, but just by looking into the code, I know that the pizza class has something called crust type, and this crust type is a string. And then we'll just, I'm gonna convert the string into something else, into a class. So the crust type now will be a class. And this class 
will have a lot of crust type classes inheriting from this main type so it will look like that All right so let's uh, uh, let's look into that let's draw some uh, Picasso here all right so this is the strategy design pattern right whoa <laughs> Oh my god, always fall for it. Strategy design pattern. This pattern allows you to change behavior based on 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 runtime and 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 focus this, right? It is you can change the behavior of your class so that you can change it on runtime, not on compile time. So let us let us explain what we currently have. So we have something called pizza, right? There's something here called a cross type. A cross type is currently a string. Right? So this is my class, this is a cross type, and cross type is basically the the round type around your Around your pizza, right? So it can be thick, thin, and some people like some Pizza Hut stuff. Uh, they put cheese in it and they do get, go crazy on it, right? So this currently is set as a string, and it's a property in your class. So how can you change a property in your class, right? While how how do you change this property? So you can you can basically declare a variable called uh, pizza and then say crust type equal thin and then change it to thick we're using uh, basically a simple assignment but like we are doing here right when you let's run this so when I start a new pizza let's say we create our own and this is a thin so if it's a thin it has a price let's say we are small calculate the price if it's thick it has a price if it's thin it has a cheaper price right I think I don't remember what we said but let's say now I want to add a new type how do I do it right currently I have to do some ugly shit right so I have first to for example go to the pizza class I have a crust type I have a price set variable here called thick crust type and I set the price that private thin crust type price and I set it here right so in the I want to add like a cheese type I have to add a variable here called cheese crust type and then it's called price as double let's say it's expensive so it's two dollars uh, all right I just 1.5 is just too much right all right so you add that now this is not enough you have to go in your get price calculate method and you have to add an if statement here so uh, so this is a good way to introduce the else if cross type equal then do that else if cross type equal cheese then then you do that right cheese cross type even that is not enough we didn't add the cheese right to the list here so how do we do that we edit that item and so you're imagining right how many places did i ch change in order to implement this new right it seems to be easy because i wrote the code but if someone else is reading this code he's gonna have a hard time but let's see if it worked. So thin is three point five dollar. Thick is four dollar. This should be four point five. All right. So I just implemented a new cross type, but I had to change a lot of places just to do that. Right. So that's one ugly thing about this. The second ugly thing is this oh, horrifying, horrifying if statement. You know, <laughs> just adding this. So. The design, the strategy design pattern here can help you 
change the behavior of the pizza class here to get the price of the pizza all right without this pizza class you know really knowing about it so what we would do here in the pizza class we're gonna create a cross type class and then we'll ask uh, we'll ask the cross type to get it to return its price so regardless what the price of the cross type this is gonna get returned and we're gonna get added we're gonna get rid of this ugly if statement right now right so let's go let's get to it so here we're gonna have a pizza this is what our current uh, structure so we want to add another class here and we call it interface I cross type that's a good way to introduce an interface to you can you can do it with the class too it's it's really the same thing all right so we have a cross type and then here we're gonna have my children so here we have thin crust thick crust cheese crust see how beautiful this is see how beautiful this is so this is inheriting from this this is inheriting from this and this is inheriting from this but I don't know how to do that thingy but you get the point right <laughs> yes god dang I can't believe I'm drawing this in paint <laughs> All right, so you get the point, right? There's these three guys are inheriting from this, but we're missing something else. Now we're gonna introduce something here. This relationship now that we're gonna do is called, what the fuck is called? <laughs> I forgot. It's called association. So this is associated with this, right? So this crest type is no longer a string, but is actually, and an object of type I crest type. So what is an interface? Is an, an interface is nothing really but a class with no code in it. You cannot write code in it. That's the simply as it is, you know? And we use the interfaces to provide some sort of signatures. So in this case, now the pizza class doesn't have any clue what is the cross type I mean it does know that the cross type is I mean it, it is of type I cross type but it doesn't know and it doesn't care what is the actual underlining because the cross type can be one of those only right so cross type can use that you can cross type equal new thin crust or equal new thick or equal new thick uh, cheese crust. So this is how you basically do it. This is how we do it. Let's do that. All right. So let's implement them strategy design patterns, guys. Hmm. I think this is a very good. This is turning to be a very good episode. I'm very excited. And if you guys have any questions, just shoot at me. All right. I implemented the strategy design pattern almost a lot, a lot of the software I built during the years it just pops up don't force it right don't force it in it just pops up that's what she said all right uh just you know what while writing code if you know it if you don't know it obviously it doesn't pop up if you do know it and say oh hey i think i can replace this shit with a strategy design pattern all right there are some design patterns that are really difficult that are never used like the decorator for example I never get this shit. It's really complicated and it's it's really unnecessary in my in my opinion. It's just the the most stuff that I use is the strategy design pattern and the factory design pattern. The, these are the most used design pattern in my opinion, in, in my code at least. So I don't know about the rest. So let's start cleaning up this shit. All right. So first of all, I hate this form. So I'm going to call it pizza bit form 
Can I do that? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Test our code. Almost test your code that it's working. Check your current results. So we're gonna create our own. Thin, small, without any ingredients, cost 3.5. Thick, cost 4. And cheese cost 4.5. Remember those values because we're gonna change, refactor our code, and then we're going to check the results. We better be getting the same results. <laughs> Alright, guys. Always when you have to change something, test it first as it's working now today, because if you are obviously an organization, you don't go and change random code, right? That's just nasty. Because you want to have expected result, the same exact result, after you refactor your code. And a lot of developers make these mistakes and change code, knowing they say, hey, I didn't do anything, I just removed an if statement and replaced it and refactored the code. Don't assume things, because if you assume, you make an ass of yourself, right? Don't, don't assume stuff, really. Just test, all right? Even if you're like 100% sure, Always test before and after, all right? I learned this the hard way, right? Believe me, yeah. Like four years ago. Ugh, I don't want to remember that day. Whew. All right. So, yeah. Let's start doing this unit. So, add class. Not a class. I'm going to add an interface, all right? So, where is this interface? Is this showing you? Where are you, interface? Should be here. Hmm. Anyway, right click, add new item. Hmm. I thought there is a, there is an interface class itself, but I think it's in only in in VB. Is it written? All right. Anyway, let's add a class. So let's call it I cross type. I'm gonna change it later. It's okay. So instead of public class, you just say public interface. Really, really simple. All right. The interface. What does it have? So what? What does the cross type have here? So obviously, it's gonna have a name, right? So we're gonna add a property. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna add a property. Right. Again, the interface doesn't have code, so we're gonna add a property. Uh, call the remove all this thing. Okay. So name. So this is the name. By the way, did I did I teach you that? If you do three commas or three slashes in C sharp, you get to have some sort of a description that you write here, and it's gonna show up there. So the name of the cross type, right? And the most important thing is the function. Uh, Function get price. Give me the price of this particular cross type. Right? Return the price of the cross type. Nicely done, guys. Now I'm gonna add my first cross type class. Alright. Class. Let's say thin crust type. The only difference between uh, thin crust, uh, I mean uh, the inheritance and the implementation uh, between the interface and the classes, if you inherit a class from another class and you cannot inherit a class to an interface, all right, if you want to implement, right, you have to use implement i cross type right once you hit enter it says you have to implement all these methods another beautiful thing about an interface 
you can implement multiple interfaces but you can only inherit from one class right let's write that down you can implement multiple interfaces but only inherit from one class right that's very important that's why the interface you can write another interface and you say implement i crest type all right and it's gonna work the same all right so the thin crest type what do we have here what how much is the thin crest type thin crest type is 0.5 so literally i'm gonna just say return 0.5 that's it i don't care if it's hard coded here because this is gonna be encapsulated anything related to the crust type that is thin will be in this class and nobody will see it all right what's going on here it's weird what is the implementation of this? All right, so yeah, we have to implement that, and that's already ready for us. It's just a property that is called name as a string, so we can set it and get it. it just uh, so this is set for us already. So it's the same as having a variable called name, right? So the whole thing gets shortened by this statement. Right, this is a way just to hide the code. This is the uh, the actual IDE does that. All right, let's add our second class. Let's call it thick crust type. Similarly, implement i crust type and then return one. Right, was it one? I think yeah. Then add. Hmm, cheese crust type, then implement i crest type. I forgot one more little thing, so it's 1.5. All right, we forgot one thing here. When you create a new cheese crust type, the name call it cheese crust type, for example. Right, when you create a new public sub new, the name is called thick cross type, and when you create thin public sub new, you say the name is thin cross type pearls. I think we're good. We're good. We're really good, guys. All right. One ugly thing that I have to remove here. All right. I need to remove all these things. I want to add these on the fly. Right? I'm going to do this on the fly, guys. Let's see. Hmm. So when I run that, I just removed it, right? So when I run, there's nothing here. I'm going to add them when I load the form. And the beauty of this, I'm going to add these as not strings, but I'm going to add them as objects. What am I talking about? I'm going to explain now, all right? One more change, right? So we have iCrest type. Let's Let's organize our code here. We can add folders here. It's called crust type. That's a thing. You can organize your code, obviously. No change will happen. You don't have to worry. You can just move stuff that are related to each other in a folder. All right. Nicely done. All right. So, what else? And the pizza class. Let's get rid of all these ugly ass code. And this is going to be changed. The crust type is now not string, it's actually i crust type. Cursed? 
crust type. All right. And of course, the property that sets it, where is it? Where is it? We don't need that, right? Test, what's that? Hmm. All these ugly will go now. Finally, my dream will come true. Let's get rid of all these. All right, so this is a, the property. Cross type, I return a cross type interface. And I set a cross type, right? Nice. And then, that's a beauty thing. So all this, let's just, I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna leave it here to show you all that we got rid of all this ugly code and replaced it with a very nice, sexy if statement. Not a statement. Can you guess? The price is equal to the current price at the crust type to get price. How sexy is this? Seriously, guys, how beautiful is it? This is right there is called the design, the strategy design pattern. So I'm gonna change the behavior, the price or the behavior of this, of the function that gets the price will change based on the on the actual object that is instantiated by this object, right? So the crust type is actually what? It's an interface, it's our crust type, but it can include this class, this class or this class. And if you call the get price on this class, you're gonna get the value, probably different behavior that's what they call it strategy design pattern because you change behaviors here right and thick cross type in this case i use it in a very simplistic way but you can do it in a very and this is like a very naive implementation of the strategy design pattern it just returns the value right it changes the value right but but you can do so much more with that like you can call a function that does something else altogether, you know? Uh, I'm trying to think, like with that or pizza stuff, just nothing really. I mean, but you can change the behavior of your algorithm based on this, right? The design that we wrote. So if I call get price now here, if the crust type is set to this, I'm gonna get the get price. There's a function here called get price, right? There's a function here get get price. There's a function here get get price. And there's a function here get, get price. And each one has an implementation. This doesn't have an implementation because it's an interface, but these have. All right, so let's go ahead and complete our code we still didn't complete it so where's one little change here that I'm gonna do right in the form load when the form loads I want to add my crust types there are there are a lot of crust types currently right so add items that add. this is how you add a thing to your uh, to your code so to your drop down list so CMB cross type so this is our drop down list if you remember the name and you say dot items dot add that's how you do it that's what let's just show you for example I just add thin for example here run I added as a string so it's gonna show up here what the heck? oh yeah oh of course so where is that? There is in the pizza. Yeah, by default, there is a default thing for this, right? Yeah, that's an error. So when you, what 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 did what happened here? So in my new pizza implementation, I am setting the crust type to be thin. Previously, now it's not thin anymore. It's actually an object. So how do you instantiate a bridge? We talked about that. Well, this new thin crust type. That's how you do it, uh, and I think I did the same thing in the migrator, right? So there's another here right there. So new thin cross type. So by default, it's a thin cross type. All right. So now 
run it new pizza there you go so that's what we add so how do this is how you add a new stuff to your drop down list but I don't want to add a string I want to add an actual object right so I'm gonna do this new thin crush style I'm gonna add new thick cross type. I'm gonna add new cheese cross type. So this is one way to do it. Another way is to do it the boring way, right? Uh, B thin cross type. But you're pros now, guys. All right? You can do it this way, and then you say this. That's okay. This also is okay. So this will basically add a new object of type thick crust into this, right? This will work, this will work. Same thing, right? So let's run. What do we see now? When you add this, the actual, there is an object here. There is no more a string. When you select that, it's actually an object. And yeah, we're gonna fix that now. Of course, obviously it's expecting a text, but it's now an object. Expecting uh, an object now, it's a text. We cannot change that now. So now, see, when you select that, things happen. There is a code that we need to change, right? But before that, pizza bed the thin crust type. What's that? That's the class name and that's the project name. By default, this is what happens when you add an object to an an item or a control that needs to display it. Because you, you didn't say what you want to display, right? You just said uh, add the object. So what, what, how, the, how the hell I would know what do you want to display here, right? So this display can be changed, fortunately, and it's very easy. In every object in .NET, right, there is something, there is a method that is hidden. I don't know if you noticed that. It's called, like, even our inventory, .toString. It's always there in every single object. And like we discussed in the inheritance, because we have like this master object class that every single guy, guy every single one inherits from. So this is called an object. All right. And this object has its method like two string, and by default, it retains the class name. But I want to override that method. If that a new, if this is a new term I, I'm throwing out here, override is when you implement or inherit a single class and then you change the behavior of that class by overriding its stuff, right? So I'm going to override the object uh, class here. I'm going to say public override to string the method to string I'm gonna override it but instead of retaining the my base dot string which is the method that is above in the object I'm gonna return the name which is basically the cheese crust type in this case and obviously this code will be similar in the thick and in the thin now I run and what this will return the actual string that I want, which is thin crust type, thick crust type, and cheese crust type. And these guys are objects now. They are not mere strings. They are actual objects with behavior, with the stuff where we can do with them. All right, so what do we have? What, what errors do we have now? When I create my own pizza, there is this bug, for example. So you say, you're saying that cmd cross type dot text equal the current cross type, right? So in, when you select the pizza, hmm, which one is that? Oh, you select that. We set the pizza cross type equal to say selected item, right? Right. Time. All right, that's another one. Let's fix it. So when you change the cr cross type, we don't use the text anymore. We're going to use the selected item. A selected item is now an object. I want the actual item. And 
Can you guess it? This actual item is actually is nothing but the object that we added when we started the form. Right? We started the form. We had these guys, right? We added these. And now they are stored there as objects. And now when I select that, I want that object to be set to my pizza. That what happens. And then when I create now a pizza, then small remember the guys 3.5 medium 3.85 oh not medium sorry the thick was four and the cheese was four there you go the strategy is on better so how does it work how is this magic working so this is what happened when I select the thin crust type I change the pizza dot crest type object to point to to this now when when I when I calculate the price of the pizza the price of the pizza will call a lot of stuff and then we'll call crust type dot get price remember the crust type dot get price will defer to this interface and this interface says hey this is the guy who is implementing me. So better go and call that particular method. Not this, not this, but actually this. And get price ha returns in this case 3.5 or what? 0.5. And then this will be added to this stuff. When I change that, see on runtime while I'm talking to you, this program is running. I'm not changing any code. I change it to thick. Now this is pointing to this guy. Right, so this get price get called, and this will call to this. This will initiate this in this in this case, all right, and we'll return this case one, and then one will be added to the rest of the information. So thick cheese, same thing. In case of the cheese, this guy will be added. How about that guy? How about that? We just implemented the design strategy design pattern successfully you like this shit i hope you'll do All right so let's see how difficult is it to add a new cross type of the bat what do you think huh i'm gonna add one of my favorite ones i'm gonna add yeah what do we think thin thick cheese <laughs> apple Type. No cursed cross type. Remember, first episode we talked about this. All right, so Apple implement i cross type. And then you return. It's a very expensive, so it's two dollars. And then in your public sub new, we're gonna say name is equal to Apple cross type. No statements. Surprisingly, we just uh, override public override to string return the name. How about that? And then I simply go to the form, copy paste because we're lazy, and we say add a new Apple cross type. Run. There you go. My Apple Crust Type Pizza. Very expensive. Five dollars. Right? That's after adding all these ingredients. Of course, this is gonna exponentially go up. Not exponentially, of course. Alright, so guys, let me know in the comments if you like this. All right, let uh, let me know if you want more design pad. Obviously. The factory design pattern, I see it screaming out of this, like, uh, I don't know, see, like what? All right, so, but it's really screaming. Hussein, let me out. I want to be implemented. So it's really, really screaming right here, you know? You want to be implemented, the uh, factory design pattern. Maybe do it next. Maybe do, we don't. I don't know. But. 
Uh, I'm planning to do the databases, to introduce databases so we can save this shit into a database like the rest of the world, you know. Obviously, everything is in the cloud now. Nobody uses databases that often. But, I mean, everyone uses database, but it's hidden, so hidden down the stack that nobody's mentioning it anymore. But yeah, guys, now I want to do another thing. I want to implement the design strategy design pattern to fix all these ugly things too, right? Ingredients or these mushroom things, uh, this ingredients, they are still ugly. I mean, they are methods. Can you imagine? Add onion, add cheese, add chicken, add. These are all ingredients. So add ingredient, right? Think with me. Well, think with me. We're gonna do this. Maybe in the next episode. Maybe in the coming one. We're gonna clean this up, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna stop for now. I have work tomorrow, so we're gonna see you next week, hopefully. So I'm still doing really good with recording one episode per week. I don't know. I hope really I can do more, but yeah, that's actually my limit for now. I'm so busy with other stuff. Sorry, guys. But I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a like, subscribe. Really helps to see that people are really benefiting from this. This is what keep me motivated motivated to continue, right? If if I don't see any uh, any interactions, basically, this uh, demotivates me to make these videos. So you know, okay, nobody's watching, right? But I hope someone out there is really learning from this. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Goodbye.